Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. I call Kanwal Jit Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to stand and support births, death, marriages and relationships registration bill and support this bill. Uh, Madam Speaker, I would like to acknowledge Honourable Peter, Peter Dunn, the uh, proposer of this bill, and it's good to see that Honourable Tracy Martin, the new minister, is carrying on the good work and continuing to uh, work on this bill. As it has been uh, mentioned by the previous speaker just now, that this bill is updating the previous uh, bill, uh, which was reviewed by the Ministry of Internal Affairs, and recommendations were made. And uh, those recommendations have been uh, taken care of in this bill. So this bill will amend the original bill, which re-enact the original bill, which is uh, Births, Deaths, Marriages, and Relationships Act 1995. And this will update and bring it, bring it to the up-to-date mark. Uh, as we know that uh, technology is changing, previously we used to work on paper, now online uh, facilities are available, and it's easy for everyone to access these facilities. This bill will give effect to the recommendations uh, arising from the Minister of Internal Affairs Review to access the provisions in 1995 Act, which was presented to the House of Representatives on 20th October 2016. Madam Speaker, as uh, the previous speaker also mentioned, that uh, we have to have uh, access to the technology, and this uh, bill will help Internal Affairs to make this bill an uh, end-to-end -end facility where Realme can be accessed, and uh, that will provide help for if somebody wants to make their family tree this bill will enable to get access to all the family members who, who are part of that clan and make sure that they can access these things. With these words, Madam Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. I call Chloe Swarbrick. Can I call uh, Madam Speaker? Uh, I